Ash. Taryn. So I have an animal fun fact oh, for you. <laughs> the best kind of fun fact. Honestly, not even the fact is my favorite part about what I'm about to say. Okay. And again, just as a disclaimer, this could be fiction. Who knows? It's from the internet. Right. Uh, the oldest known living animal, land animal mm-hmm. to be specific, um, is a tortoise who's 187 years old. Oh. <laughs> His name is Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> like who? It was Jonathan. 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 Was that a popular name back then? It feels very proper. Like I would think like Bartholomew or something. Yeah. You know, 187. Yeah. 180 is a long time. Yeah. Also, I had a... This is my segment. I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm so did sorry. You know, um, wombats poop is in cubes and they stack it to mark their territory. <laughs> cubes. <laughs> That's on my bucket list. How does it come out cubed? I don't know, but they they literally make a fort. Or... Are their intestines square? Must be. <laughs> what? Ash, you're talking about poop right now. Well, it's animal poop. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Everyone, people's mark the record. People's Ashley aren't. just said people's poop aren't. Animals and are in the same sentence. Roll the thing, Mark. Roll it. <laughs> As you guys know, we are the biggest fans of therapy, and I think we're also the biggest fans of BetterHelp. Huge fans. Huge fans. I am currently doing counseling through BetterHelp, and I have noticed such a drastic change in my just like mental and emotional health. And the thing that I love the most about it is it's so easy. Like you message through an app, you get notifications through an app, you can like text them, you can call, you can video. It's been just the best thing for me in this season of life. Taryn and I are obsessed with BetterHelp because you can send a message to your counselor at any time and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, all without having to leave the comforts of your own home. They have services available for clients worldwide, and I personally am obsessed with BetterHelp because they make it so easy to change counselors. Taryn and I believe that sometimes... It takes a few counselors, a few therapists to find one that fits, and that requires moving around a little bit, but BetterHelp makes that super easy and convenient and a seamless process because you don't even get charged extra. Taryn and I both want you to start living a happier life today as our listeners will give you guys 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash unsolicited. That's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash unsolicited unsolicited u-n-s-o-l-i-c-i-t-e-d join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health that's better help b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash unsolicited u-n-s-o-l-i-c-i-t-e-d Today's episode is brought to you by Athena Club. Athena Club's razor is designed with built-in skin guards to help prevent razor burn while being gentle on curves. The razor blade is surrounded by a water-activated serum with shea butter and hyaluronic acid, which is obviously the holy grail for all things skincare. And my favorite part, the best part, is that the razor kit is only $9 and comes with two blade heads, a magnetic hook for shower storage, and your choice of handle color. Show your skin you care with the Athena Athena Club Razor Kit. Sign up today and you'll get 20% off your first order. Just go to athenaclub.com and use promo code ADVICE. That's A-T-H-E-N-A-C-L-U-B.com with promo code ADVICE for 20% off. Today's episode is brought to you by Away. Away thoughtfully designs suitcases, bags, and other travel things. All they think about are awesome colors, different shapes and sizes, locks that work, 360-degree spinner wheels, modern materials, compression pads so you can pack more than you'll ever use, and my favorite part, a laundry bag to keep things tidy. Love that. And they're so cute. (laughs) Obviously, all Away thinks about is travel, and all any of us are really thinking about is travel, because we all just need to Mm -hmm. get out of the house. Literally, guys, your mom, your dad, your loved ones, people you even don't love, your upstairs neighbor, the delivery guy, your friends, your barista, that one person. (laughs) And if all we want is travel, then you should just give the gift of travel. Explore Away's full range of all things travel and start your 100-day trial today by going to awaytravel.com slash advice. That's awaytravel.com slash advice and give the gift that's on everyone's mind. 
Hello, Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the podcast. My name's Ashley. I'm Taryn. This is Unsolicited Advice. If you don't know, now you know. Now you know. This is uh, our advice podcast where you guys can write in your own personal stories and get the most authentic, uh-huh. in the moment, uh-huh. reactive, uh-huh. Um, real, <laughs> other words, advice. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, on with this? You know, you can take it or you could leave it, but like that is yeah. what we do here. Um, so yeah, be sure to like, rate, review, subscribe, do all the things. Yes. I don't think I've ever done that. Well, this is my thing. Yeah, you're good at that. You have your segment. I have mine. I bring the laughter. You bring the com- and comedic the joy. relief. You bring the <laughs> call outs. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Uh, anyways, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything new to share with y'all. I but- have something to share. Oh, Taryn and I went and saw Hamilton last week. Yeah, we did. And it was... Magical. Incredible. Yeah. It was pure joy and magic and love and everything I needed in life. And adultery. <sighs> and dark and twisted. <laughs> I cried so many it times. It was phenomenal. Obviously, you guys probably know this, uh, Disney Plus released it last year yeah. in the middle of 2020. It, I'm not exaggerating in any way. Got me, Taryn, and our my sister, our roommate, through last year. Yeah, we oh must God, have true. watched it at least eleven to twelve times, um, and like would listen to the soundtrack on repeat. Yeah. So the fact that we finally saw it in person was monumental. Alicia and I got my mom tickets for her birthday because my mom also loved it so much um, back in May. So we've been looking forward to this for so long. <laughs> if you have an opportunity to go see it i highly recommend this is your sign you need to go see it it was incredible yeah it was so good and it was funny because um i i had like a friend or a coworker say like just the only thing i warn is like it's not the same characters Mm -hmm. and i feel like that's such a like hurdle whether it's like oh you read a book and then you go see the movie or you see like Hamilton on Disney plus and then you go and it's like a different cast. Mm -hmm. She was like, just get that out of your mind. And it helped me so much to just like fully enjoy. Absolutely. Like the differences they brought to their characters. It was so, it was so good. That's the art is you get to like make it your own in some type of way. And it was so, so, so good. Highly recommend. I have been waking up. I was telling Taryn this on the way here. I've been waking up every day to a random song from the show in my head. And I've just been waking up like singing yeah, he will never be satisfied. Like that's, that's I've been not a random waking song. up, that's waking like up one like of the best ones. Well, I couldn't. I was on the spot, Taryn. Why call me the out? Reynolds pamphlet, <laughs> pamphlet, pamphlet. <laughs> Pla- anyway, pamphlet. Um. Well, I have something to share. Uh-huh. I went. I built like three to four Lego sets within Taryn the past few days. Was bi- booked and busy. <laughs> booked and busy on a roll. Um, it's so fun. This is gonna sound so stupid. But no, like this is a safe place. I I feel like I because like I everyone wants to see like my Lego content. Yeah. I like sometimes like I dread doing it though because I miss just like sitting and like doing a set and not thinking about like oh is the camera still recording uh-huh. or like whatever. So you can't fully enjoy it. Yeah, like I feel like I found like a cool new system to where like I record a little bit and then I do like a cool transition to like here's the finished thing. Um, And so, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I was alone a lot. So I had lots of time to like. You know what? That is a common problem for influencers. Taryn, you're an influencer. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. (laughs) Because I have that problem all the time. I like started making nail reels. Now I can't go to the nail salon and just relax and listen to a podcast. I have to film the entire thing. We do it to ourselves. But then (sighs) it's what the people want. So, you know. It is what it is, and <laughs> I love, you know, my Legos, except now I feel like I'm getting to a point, again, there's just so many of them. Mm. I need, like, a I need like a, a full You need room. a house. No, you need, need your like own a, house. A whole a section. A full, like, Lego yeah. house, but then also, like, shelf space throughout the house for some of, like, a, a few cool of your, ones. like, favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anywho, so that's a little catch up on us. Yeah. I feel like that's all we got to say. We're alive and thriving. Um, I have a tearing it up. Oh, let's go. Okay, cool. All right, so this. Let's go. That just makes me think of that TikTok. Let's go. Ding, let's ding, go. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so this is titled, Why Does This Happen to Me? Why? Why? The why? second why got me. 
Why? <laughs> Why? Um, hi, Ashley and Taryn. My name is Priya. I love you guys so much. I recently stumbled upon your podcast and haven't stopped listening since. I have to say, I literally understand the struggles of why does this happen to me that Taryn goes through. When I listen to the Taryn It Ups, most of the time I'm like, oh my God, that's me. So here I am sharing something that happened to me. As I mentioned, I always find myself in embarrassing and ridiculous situations all the time from falling on perfectly level ground. Oh, I fell down the stairs. Did I tell you this? Our stairs? Yeah. Yeah. When? Lexi saw. <laughs> I literally <laughs> was texting while going down the stairs and thought oh, I was no. on the last one, but I was three up. And so I like literally somersaulted landed like oh, I was like on my back on the bottom Oof. of the stairs and then Lexi was walking by but she was on like a business call <laughs> so the only thing she said is she she went like oh and then you could tell like she was like oh shoot so she goes sorry someone just fell down the stairs and then she <laughs> walked away and I'm just literally laying there like oh like, my someone help me. god yeah, we have very slippery like wooden sta- stairs in the yeah. house and I've fallen I think twice um, and it's really painful because it's yeah. not like carpet where you it, you don't slide so no, much. Yeah. But when you <laughs> when you fall and if you're far enough up, you you continue to fall a I little bit. I genuinely thought I broke my toes. Yeah, like all of them. I it fell was on my terrible. tailbone once and it was not okay. No, it was really no, bad. Not well. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. From falling on perfectly level ground to hitting random objects while walking on seemingly normal surfaces to getting stuck in a compost pit to sleeping on random things, it has all happened to me at some point. This one particularly stands out. I was in college at the time. I attended design school in my hometown, and the campus was quite far from the city limits, which is why we had a bus service. College was brutal, so we would always come home around 6 to 7 in the evening after long days of work. We all used to doze off on the bus, and the driver would give us a two-minute heads up before our stop to get our stuff together. Some of the drivers were particularly mean, only waiting at the stop for about 30 seconds, so we had to scramble. Almost always, the non-sleeping students on the bus would wake us up at the previous stop to give us more time to gather our things. My stop was one of the last ones on this route. I would like to mention studying architecture a decade ago was very different from what it is now. We had lots of equipment to carry with our backpack and rolls of paper, so it was always a mess getting everything together and leaving. If we left something behind, 99% of the time, we never saw it again. This particular evening, there were fewer people than normal on the bus. I was sitting at the back in my usual seat, and the few people who were on board were seated in the front. As usual, I fell asleep, but no one was around to wake me up before the driver screamed, stop in two minutes. I jolted up from my sleep and rushed to gather all the thousands of things I had to carry. I was standing in the aisle at the very end of the bus with both hands full of my things about to start walking toward the front when he slammed on the brakes very hard. No. I had nothing to hold on to no. and no way to balance myself. I was thrown down the aisle towards the front. <laughs> to someone looking at me, it would seem as if I was just running full speed. Yeah. <laughs> but I had no control over what my legs were oh doing. Oh my God. You know that feeling where like you, you the momentum gets you yeah. and your legs are just trying to keep, yeah. keep up. I can like. You're, you're leaning so far forward and your legs are trying to run as <laughs> so fast she's just as they can yeah. down the aisle yeah. i can't there was a small window at the front of the bus in a partition that divided the driver area from the rest of the space no. i zoomed past other students straight into the window and somehow went through it with my hands ahead of me imagine <gasps> superman flying no. with all my stuff in my hand I got stuck at my waist, so my lower body was no. on the other side of the partition, and my head, she hands, had and a torso. Poo bear moment. <laughs> yeah, it was a poo fully, bear moment. Fully. Was on the driver's side of the window, literally inches away from the driver himself. No. I definitely gave him a major heart attack, bursting into a space no, like I'm that. Sure, I was still sleepy and was trying to register what exactly happened and what I was supposed to do next. I felt someone trying to pull me out of the window from the other side, but all the my equipment and paper rolls in my hand got stuck at weird angles and I got stuck even more. 
With a lot of fidgeting and maneuvering, I got out to see everyone literally on the floor crying, holding their sides from laughing so hard. (laughs) I was so embarrassed. I got out of the bus and stood there for an entire five minutes, still trying to wrap my brain around what had happened. I took another bus the next day. It meant I had to get down at a different stop and get a ride home from a friend, but that was so much better than facing the same people again. (laughs) Hope this cracked you up. I had a good laugh remembering it all while typing. Thanks again. And have a great day, Priya. Oh, <laughs> I cannot even imagine Supermaning <laughs> through a window. No, and getting half of you stuck inside of it. No. Imagine the driver just minding his own business. <laughs> he probably or thought someone was like, gonna and someone him. literally just bust through. Like yeah. I would go. Like I feel <laughs> like my first initial reaction would be like fight or flight because. Oh, yeah. Clearly, someone's on board trying to like. Oh yeah. Blow up the bus. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Seriously, and all the people too. Like, oh imagine god. just seeing someone sprinting down a bus aisle. Like, I'd be yeah. like, "This is it. This yeah. is how we die." Oh my god! Actually, speaking of we, what when we were in Hamilton, let me paint oh a picture. My gosh. We're all sitting yes. in like a row, and Terrence, you're at the edge, right? Um, it was TK then me, so okay. I was like close. So to the Terrence edge. close to the edge. TK, our friend, is on the very edge. Um, of our and our group is like all on the side. Yeah, in the middle of the play, I don't know how he was allowed to do this. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know what he was. he was thinking because a lot of times, uh, like a theater etiquette is, you're once you leave, you could easily not be allowed back in until it's like a, the right time. It was not the right time. No, it was, it was in a the quiet, middle of a number. Yeah, it was yeah. like not the right time to allow someone to walk back to their seat. Anyways, this person not wa- only walks back to their, doesn't just walk back to their seat. They full on sprint down the aisle of the theater, yeah. like full speed. It scared me. And was I wasn't loud. even yeah, at the it edge. It was like, do, 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 do. He was yeah. like sprinting. And his seat happened to be in the front row. Yeah. So for a minute, it looked like he was literally charging the stage. I was like. And I was so scared for them. I was like, <laughs> he's either like, he's going to do something da- bad, like hurt someone or jump or, on the stage or jump, yeah or he's a part of it and he is coming from the back and he's about to jump oh, on stage and dance with them i was like all. maybe he's a part of the crew I was there like, were so Death. many thoughts that went through <laughs> yeah. and it was like it was terrifying so imagine so being on a bus no it was so scary oh man and she probably was like oh shoot i'm gonna hit this wall and then all of a sudden she's like <laughs> she dangling through, through a it. window yeah she's so good Honey. well thank you so much for writing that in priya that was a great that was a that was a perfect tearing it up because you're sitting there like what just happened quality tearing it what up what just happened also I feel, I feel like we should forever more call that the Pooh Bear effect yeah when you're stuck yeah yeah yeah. let's do it ah great so one of the biggest difference between me and Ash mm-hmm. she is the type that shaves her legs like every day damn near every single day I'm the type that grows a winter coat until <laughs> I have to show my legs <laughs> And even then, you know, sometimes it's not always there. But I will say, ever since I started getting into a shave routine, mm-hmm. now I'm much more inclined to want to shave. I which, love that for you. That's a big deal. It's a big, that's it's a, a big huge statement. deal. Yes. And we have Athena Club to thank yes, for that. Yes, thank God for them. Guys, if you don't already know, Athena Club's razor is designed with built-in skin guards to help prevent razor burn while being gentle on curves. Their razor kit is only $9, comes with two blade heads, a magnetic hook for shower storage, and your choice of handle color. Me and Taryn both did powder blue. Taryn copied me. It's no big deal. I just wanted to address it. How do you know I didn't choose it first? You don't know. You don't know my life. (laughs) The razor comes in six color options, but they also have black and white razors, which I personally have never seen from any other brands. Have you, Taryn? No. And I personally am in love with their cloud shave foam. I hadn't used shave foam in such a long time. I just kind of fell off the bandwagon with it. Um, But it makes shaving such a premium experience. And I highly recommend. Show your skin you care with the Athena Club Razor Kit. Sign up today and you'll get 20% off your first order. Just go to athenaclub.com and use promo code ADVICE. That's A-T-H-E-N-A-C-L-U-B dot com with promo code ADVICE for 20% off. Let's face it, the holidays can be exhausting with all the stress that comes with shopping and travel and lack of sleep. There are days where you just feel tired and flat. 
the good news is I'm having a lot less of those types of days since I found True Niagen. I love it. True Niagen helps fuel the cell's energy engines, maintains cellular metabolism, and even supports heart health in combination with a healthy lifestyle. With 13 published human clinical studies and backed by Nobel Prize winners, True Niagen is a supplement that is clinically proven to boost NAD levels, an essential coenzyme required for cellular energy and repair. Since taking True Niagen, I have more resiliency and it helps my muscle recovery. Add more vitality to your life today with True Niagen. We are entering into the busiest time of the year and I honestly have been having trouble keeping up. So I started taking True Niagen and it's been super helpful. I take it first thing in the morning and I feel great the rest of the day. Right now, new customers can save 10% on their first purchase by going to trueniagen.com slash advice and use code advice. That's T-R-U-N-I-A-G-E-N dot com slash advice, code advice to save 10% on your first order. trueniagen.com slash advice, code advice. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get into my story now. Do it. Um, this one is titled, Change Feels Too Much Like an End, Not Enough Like a Beginning. Dear Ash and Taryn, hello, my name is Eunice and you can say my name. What do you think of when you hear Eunice? Eunice, a girl I went to high school, or um, Eunice. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 yeah. shoot, yeah. shoot. <laughs> um, what movie is that? Yeah. Um, Mean Girls. No. no. What is it? Uh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't think of it. Amanda Bynes is in it. Um, 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 um. So is uh, Channing Tatum. Um. She, not she's is it she's all that no 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 close um she she's the, the man. man she's the man she's the man, she's the man. <laughs> i guys i love that movie oh it's one of my favorite should we watch it today <laughs> i feel like I feel we like should like watch we should. it today it is such a great movie and there's this uh character in the movie called eunice who's like the comedic relief of the show yeah. and she's hilarious and so me good. and alicia loved that character so much so the second i read this i was like eunice anyways <laughs> Back to the what's in, back to what's important. Before I begin, I want to let you know that I admire you both in your podcast so much. I am amazed every week at how you find advice to give in situations that seem so unresolvable to me. Shows show <laughs> shows okay show show Sorry, shows. Mark. <laughs> show, shows show how much more experienced you are at life than me. Lol. A bit about me. I am an Enneagram 4, so I am deeply emotional. I am an 18-year-old living in China, and I'm about to move across the world to London for university. Wow, that's a big move. That is. Wow, wow, wow. Eunice, congratulations. That I is huge. I want to go to London for university. I want to go to London for university. Well, me and Taryn went to London like once. fit in. And we went to um, Oxford. Oxford. Oxford? Oxnard. Oxford. Oxford. No, Oxnard's the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oxford. And it was... I'm we not like pretended we went to school there. I've we've we both collectively together and separately have mm -hmm. traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was about that town, but I felt like I was in a Harry Potter movie. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was in just like a romantic novel, yeah. like just like and it wasn't it was just like the architecture. It was the vibe. Also, it was just you know like, what it is. London is stereotypically like foggy and gray. It was a beautiful blue beautiful. sky, sunny day with yeah. perfect clouds, not like. There was California like, hazy clouds. They were like perfectly no, no, no. Like, like clumped billowy little clouds. billowy clouds. There was like a graduation that had just yes. happened. So like a group of people in like cap and gowns with like champagne and cake all over them like yeah. ran past us laughing. Like I felt like I was in. Yeah. And I don't know why. Like that's one of my favorite moments of like a traveling trip that I've ever had. Yeah. Like, same. I so felt, weird. I, we were walking the halls. I was like, I feel smarter. I just yeah. I could feel the knowledge yeah. being sucked into me. Yeah. Anyways. We're gonna very very Where, excited for you to go to London. Are we? Yeah, why do we? What school are you going to, and can we come visit? Yeah. Um, continuing on, my issue is one that I struggle with a lot. 
I have always struggled with change and it feels like the most daunting thing in the world. I often feel like I'm not tough enough for the world, especially when it comes to things like going to university, thinking about my career, and applying for internships. Last year was supposed to be my first year at uni, but I didn't go to London due to COVID. I am now biting the bullet and going, but this period of transition feels much more like an end than it does a beginning. I know I'm going to love it there, but everything that's waiting for me in London feels insignificant to the mountain of anxiety I'm feeling before leaving. I've learned from the past that I always find a way to deal with big changes, but I've been crying every night at the thought of leaving home, and this is the biggest change I've ever had to face. I am an only child and rely on my parents a lot, so they are all I've ever known. On top of that, my family is moving away from China after I leave, so I have to say goodbye to the city as well. Every day, I feel like I'm trying to find the balance on prioritizing, enjoying the present, and cherishing my last few days in China, and prioritizing packing and mentally preparing myself to move across the world. No big deal. Yeah. (laughs) It feels so hard to face the reality of moving, and I really just want to be excited like everyone around me is excited for me. Do you have any advice on looking at this in a more positive perspective or how to make it easier? Thank you for reading this email. If you did, I just wrote every emotion I'm feeling at the moment. So it's long. It's the foreign me, LOL. No, it's not. It's not long at all. You did great. So grateful for your podcast and for the place for people like me to write out their feelings. Thank you for everything. Love you both so much. Love, Eunice. Eunice. You know what I feel like we are? What? We are a tangible, out loud, electronic Diary? Journal. Yeah. Yes. We are. Yes. Because it's, which is, oh my God. Okay. I just had a brilliant idea. Okay. There should be, like, you know how, like, there's those services now, like, at a wedding or something or a funeral, like, it'll be a phone and you can pick up the phone and, like, give a message or something to, like, the family. Have you ever seen those? I've never seen those. Oh, it's so cool. And then at the end of it, it's, like, almost like a guest book. At the end of it, then you, like, the family gets it. And it's, like, you can say messages to, the couple or the person you pass or the family, whatever. But there should be something where you like, you know, there's been so many times I've been mad at someone and I want to like write them a letter and like yeah. tell them how I feel. But then yeah. I, I'm like, I can't get it out on paper yeah. and it feels pointless. Like there should be a place where you can like type everything out or send letters to, you know what I mean? Like I feel a like that would thing. be a lot easier for people because something about writing I feel like I have to like pick my words carefully yeah, yeah. and like properly word it whereas like if I could just record myself I would ramble and get it all out yeah whereas like, you know like I sitting you. I feel like it has to be yeah. like perfect and anyway, it's done God, but wow tangent city I know we're in on one episode. today we're on um, one Eunice first of all Do I feel like slow clap for Eunice yeah oh Congrats. Wow. Okay, you didn't give me like any chance. Congrats. To, like, try try to find a rhythm. I'm sorry. Try to like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the I'm worst. Just, I honestly ever. feel like Eunice needs to be celebrated because this is such a huge and exciting time in your life. Um, yes, it's a scary change, but also like you are the one who like got yourself here yeah, and brought yeah. yourself to this opportunity of moving across the world. And ah, I just feel like. People who are capable of making big changes like that are, are capable of so much. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I get that it's going to be scary, but I feel like you putting yourself in a position to explore and grow and learn and and challenge yourself to to thrive in, in a different environment just goes to show how strong you are. Oh, yeah. A and lot I, of people can't even leave home, mm-hmm. you know? Like, look at you. No, I think it's so cool. And I think, like... I mean, I feel like the first thing is just acknowledge, like, you have every right to feel the way you feel. Like, mm-hmm. that's a big, that's a very intimidating. And like, young. you're not just you're leaving young. your home, but like, your parents are leaving your home. So it's like you're saying bye to that because mm-hmm. it's not like just, oh, on holidays, I'll go back and like see my familiar place. But then also, you're going to a new place, like, that has a new culture about it. Like, that's a lot to take in. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, it's okay to be scared and sad. And I think that's not going to go away. Yeah. And I mean, I that sounds like doom and gloom, but I feel like sometimes like we get so focused on like, oh, just how do we get rid of all this, these feelings and like, oh my God, I'm so scared and I'm nervous. So like, how do I not be scared and nervous? But sometimes yeah. it's like, no, I'm just going to be scared and nervous. Like yeah. that's okay. I'm just going to embrace this for a yeah. second. Yeah. And like, 
you're going to need to like mourn it and you're probably the first part of the move is going to be really hard. Like it's going to feel lonely. It's going to feel isolating. It's going to be sad. But that's all part of the process of like like releasing those emotions so that you can like find a space for figuring out a new life. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've we've had people write in a lot about like how do I I'm going to a new school, I'm going to a new job. And I mm-hmm. feel like still the number one thing is you have to push yourself. Like yeah. you have got to get involved in like groups or, you know, if you go to church, go to a church group. If you like volunteer at like a nonprofit Whatever, like, obviously your school will have stuff too, but I would just, like, over the top, get involved, go to, like, plenty of events, like, that whole first month, Mm -hmm. because you've got to get connected or else you're going to just feel so, like, lonely, you know? I highly recommend that you watch Yes Man, (laughs) the movie, (laughs) um, with what's his name, what's his name, what's his name? Jim Carrey. Um, I feel like this is your yes year, and I feel like university is the perfect place to get involved because there are clubs for absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. And I agree with Taryn. I think you should join every single club you possibly can. I have moved twice. I've had like two major moves in my life and both times um, I had an issue in the beginning where, because obviously I didn't move across the world, I was able to like drive home Mm -hmm. and I drove home a lot the first like six months to eight months of my both moves and that honestly I think held me back from connecting to like the new place that I'm in and making new friends where I'm in and getting involved where I was at and I feel like this is actually going to be a good thing because you can't go home Mm -hmm. and you have to like pour yourself into where you're at and I think it's going to make it so much easier and Again, I think university is a perfect place to do that because everyone's joining yeah. from everywhere. Like you're being, sur- you're going to be surrounded by people who also left home, and um, other people who did move across the world. Where that's that's not the case for a lot of people, you know. Um, and I, gr- I agree with Taryn. I think all the groups are going to help you get connected and feel at home. And I think it'll happen a lot sooner than you think. Yeah. Yeah. What's so nice about especially like going to school is so many people are going to be coming from like different yeah. places too. So All a lot of the people world. are in the same boat as you. And yeah, like I, I, my first year in college, I was still close to home, but it still was like a big change. And I like made myself do, I joined ASB. I like my roommate started a cheer team and asked me to help her, which was my actual definition of a nightmare. Mm-hmm. But I was like, okay, like because sure. I was just trying to like not be like in my house all day or just hanging out with like all my hometown friends, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So I would definitely push past it. But I think like I feel like the vibe I got from your email is like, I'm so sad. Like, what do I do? And yeah. I just think like that's okay, you know? Actually, I feel like what you are doing is healthy and good like you're allowing yourself to be sad you're you're taking the time to prioritize um living presently and being in the moment and making memories there and I think that was kind of like the best way to handle it is to let yourself feel those things Mm -hmm. so that when you move you can move with knowing that you you fully said goodbye yeah you know also like I think for me like and I've said this before I'm always like this with my friends too like Okay, so worst case, right? Like, Mm -hmm. I love thinking about this because it makes me feel like, okay, like, if the worst happens, like, I still would be okay. Worst case, you go, you absolutely hate it. Yeah, would it be inconvenient to, like, leave school and go move somewhere else? Yeah, but you could. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's still a total option. Worst case, you'll find something that works. So, like, go, give it your all. Like, be committed to trying to find fun stuff to do and the change. Like, go take, like, the tourist, like, red bus tour of London. Like, me and Ash, when we went, we were like, oh, I wish we did this the first day because we got to see so much of the city. And then we were like, we then we knew, oh, this area is cool or this area we want to explore more. So, like, do a bunch of touristy stuff right when you get there. Get to know the vibe. Get to know, like, what the city's like. Start asking people. Every restaurant you go to, ask your waiter, like, hey, where are some cool spots you would recommend? Like, just put yourself out there to, like, find a way to like get involved in the place you're at and you're gonna be fine yeah I feel like you're not even gonna need this but maybe give yourself like a deadline like okay I'm giving myself at least one year yeah it's school 
So you can't really leave in the middle of the semester. So maybe give yourself a full school year. And if you're still feeling some type of way about yeah. it, then maybe you can transfer somewhere There's else. There's always other options. So but don't London stress. is such like a perfect city to go to yeah, because it's I a melting go. pot. There's like every type of person is there. Um, every type of food is there. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much different, so many different cultures represented and people coming from all over the world to go to school in London. I feel like it's kind of like LA, like there, yeah. there's all kinds of people here. So yeah. I feel like you're going to absolutely love it. I'm super stoked for you. Mm -hmm. Go murder school and... Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> Go marry everyone. Chase your dreams and meet your goals. Dang. And I'm so freaking proud of you. You go out Eunice. There. Eunice. Away thoughtfully designs suitcases, bags, and other travel things. And me and Ash are quite possibly obsessed. <laughs> Very obsessed. All the way thinks about our awesome colors, different shapes and sizes, locks that, you know, work. 360 degree spinner, wheels, modern materials, compression pads so you can pack more than you'll ever use. And my favorite part, laundry bags that keep everything nice and tidy. All the way thinks about is travel and all any of us are really thinking about is travel. Your mom, your dad, your loved ones, people you don't love, your upstairs neighbor, the delivery guy, your friends, your barista, the one person, me, you, them, the entire planet. So if we're all thinking about it and we all want it, then you should just go ahead and give it. Give the gift of travel because all they want to do is travel. Explore Away's full range of all things travel at awaytravel.com and give the gift that's on everyone's mind. Yeah, I recently did a little quick little weekend getaway to Santa Barbara. Obviously took my, you know, away suitcase and I had way more clothes than I needed. It made traveling even even just a couple hours away a breeze. Explore Away's full range of all things travel and start your 100-day trial today by going to awaytravel.com slash advice. That's awaytravel.com slash advice and give the gift that's on everyone's mind. So like many things in life, there is no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. A product that works wonders for curls might make straight hair limp and greasy. Mine. Like my hair is super thin mm -hmm. and fine and mm -hmm. straight. So there are only certain things I can use or else literally it looks like I just got out of the shower. I look like a wet dog. Yeah, same, yeah. same, same. Thanks to my personalized pros routine, I can honestly say I have never been more in love with my hair. Pro specializes in custom hair care, and now they also make custom hair supplements that are personally tailored to address your specific cause of shedding. They take into account things like hormonal changes, stress levels, diet, and more. The result? Customized supplements guaranteed to help you grow thicker, longer, softer hair in record time. I personally love Pro's because it is made with clean, safe, and natural ingredients. Pro's hair supplements are just two capsules that you take daily. The first capsule strengthens and rebalances the scalp to reduce shedding and the second capsule helps to spark fuller faster growth deep within the follicle try your own custom hair supplements and you'll get 15 percent off get yours at pros.com slash advice that's p-r-o-s-e dot com slash advice for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15 percent off your custom hair supplements pros.com slash advice do you feel overwhelmed when it comes to handling your personal finances, Ash? All the time. Same. You aren't the only one. Credit Karma it. is here to help you make those big calls with more confidence. Whether you're refinancing credit card debt or paying for an upcoming expense, Credit Karma uses your credit data to show you fresh personal loan offers that are personalized just for you. On Credit Karma, you can check out multiple loan offers side by side. Members who compare loan offers on Credit Karma save an average of 30% on interest rates. I love Credit Karma because it's completely free and easy to sign up for a Credit Karma account with no effect on your credit score, making it simple to search for the right personal loan for you. I know during COVID, a lot of us had to start side hustle. So this is a perfect thing to use uh, to, you know, support your side hustle. To get you started. So are you ready to apply? Oh, yeah. I mean, we were ready. <laughs> Head to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to see personalized offers with your approval odds right now. Go to creditkarma.com slash loan offers to find the loan for you. That's creditkarma.com slash loan offers. 
All right, so my story, I don't think there's a title. I don't know, I already blew it up big and we're <laughs> not going back. I have to blow up my story so big now, Me what too. happens? I'm old. Me too, this is, this is what happens when you're 30 years old. Right? Who's 30? I'm going back to college. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm literally, like, I feel like that would be something weird I would do. Go back to college. Just be like, just travel and go back to college and just take a bunch of electives, but be like, hey guys, yeah. I'm like you. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. Anyways. Hi, Ashley and Taryn. What's Sorry. T- up? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Taryn. <laughs> I have to list alphabetical. I get it. Everyone yeah. has their thing. We it's support fine. the OCD it's wrong, tendencies. But it's fine. Okay. First, I'll briefly be your hype girl and say that you th- what? Say thank mm-hmm. you so much for putting your podcast out into the world. I'm sure I can speak for all the listeners by saying you have changed all of our lives and we are forever great. Stop it. I'm feeling Man. very emotional today. Okay. Why is this affecting me so much? I don't know. My name is Caitlin. You can say my name. And I am from... Oh, where she's from is anonymous. So you can't know that. Got it. <laughs> Oh, shoot. That was um, funny. I am 24 years old and I am an activities director at a senior living center. Oh my gosh, being, how fun. That's so cute. While being a dance teacher as my part time job, I am an Enneagram 2 Wink 3. Hi. <laughs> me too. Hello. I have a boyfriend. Oh, Taryn, me. Taryn. <laughs> I, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Well, you got you got half of it. <laughs> Who I've been with for over six years. Wow. And he is truly the perfect man for me. Love I have been so blessed to find the one at such an, a young age. Stay with me because it's all relevant to my situation. Okay. I'm writing because my boyfriend and I have been bumping into some conflicts, which I believe relate to our love languages. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> I have so much advice I can give (laughs) to this topic. For sure. Anyways, okay. My main love language in order of importance. I love that she put that. Mm -hmm. So top one, which by the way, okay, love languages, if people are like, what is this hippie crap you're talking about? Yes. There's a book that came out that's called The Five Love Languages. forever ago. Like, yeah. A long long time ago. Yeah. And basically, there's a quiz that you can take and a book that goes into each one. It's kind mm-hmm. of like the Enneagram type vibe of where it's like you take a quiz, find out what, sh- what you are, yeah. but then you learn about other people's. It's kind of like it yeah. has that potential where it it's like it down, teaches you yeah. about other people. Yeah, it breaks down how you give and receive love, but then you also learn about how others give yes. and receive love. Very important in very close friendships and like partnerships. Yes. So um, I know it's physical touch, quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service. I was, the fifth one is... Gifts, gifts, gifts. gifts. <laughs> Lexi, Thanks, Lexi mouths it yeah. from across the the, so, the room, <laughs> the window, gifts. our fishbowl. Yes. Yeah. Um. So for me, mine are physical touch, words of affirmation, and quality time. Those are like my main ones. Mm-hmm. Like I need to be shown that you love me, and I need to be told often that you love me. Like that's mine are mine. opposite, yeah. but same. Um, mine are words of affirmation, physical touch. Yeah, in that order. So, um. To, anyway, anyways, let's keep going. So her her order is top words of affirmation, mm-hmm. then quality time, then physical touch. My boyfriend's love languages are quality time, physical touch, acts of service. Okay. Now here's where it gets tricky. On top of my full time job as an activities director, my dance teaching job takes up a lot of time, such as lesson planning, rehearsals, competitions, etc. I've been dancing since I was five, and it is my biggest passion. I put my heart and soul into my dance studio, and it is part of my identity. My boyfriend has been my number one supporter with everything I do, especially dance. He went to every competition while I was dancing and now is so involved with me being a teacher. He even swept the stage and helped with props at our annual recital. He's a a keeper, ladies. Well... (laughs) For you. <laughs> so anyway. Love he, that. Yeah. Love that for you. <laughs> he encourages me to take on anything that brings me joy, but it has been having downfalls. 
He reassures me that he's not upset with me being so busy, but he also wishes he had more quality time with me. Mm -hmm. He said, and I quote, I help with a lot of your dance things so I can spend more time with you. I know, so sad, right? Now, being a two, this absolutely breaks my heart hearing he needs more time with me. And since I'm a people pleaser, I feel so guilty doing something I love knowing it's making him sad. Sometimes I don't enjoy myself as much while teaching dance because I know my boyfriend is missing me while sitting at home. Being a three, this can also build some conflict because when I am involved in something, I go hard and I want to be the best I can be until I'm successful. Mm. I should also mention that we are in search of a house, so we do not live together yet. Therefore, our time is limited even more. Yeah. How do I find... I love this because she bold, italic, and underlined... The question. Her question, yes. which is me. Yeah. Like, a- any of my work emails, everything flows, and then anything I'm, like, within it where I'm, like, you need to pay attention, I, need I an highlight answer to bold, this. italic, and underline, like, yeah. without fail. Can't miss this. <laughs> yeah. How do I find self-acceptance that he may always have some sadness because his quality time isn't being fulfilled... How do I know that I'm committing to too much? Do I need to be more considerate? How can I cope with him telling me honest thoughts about me being busy without feeling bad guilty about myself? I would love your advice on this because I'm at a crossroads inside my own head. I hope this message wasn't too long. However, I wanted to make sure you had enough info and you do not wish you could ask for follow-up questions. (laughs) I ask that all the time. Love you both. Caitlin. Wow. Wow. Okay, so, like, this to me, like, I don't know if this, like, will make you feel better or not. Like, there's <laughs> some situations I read and I'm like, woof. Like, yeah. okay, like, how do we, like, That's I feel like lot. I have to, like, take a deep breath and go yeah. into it. I don't feel that about your situation. No, I agree. But I understand why this all feels really big because of, I mean, you're me, like a two wing three. Like Mm -hmm. I could see it's my worst fear to like hurt other people. And especially if people say that they're being hurt by something I'm doing, like I'm like, oh my God. So I can see the pull that you're having and where now it's affecting like, okay, well now even the things that I enjoy, like now I'm feeling guilty for it. And it's, it's kind of like, it's that world of trying to like figure out like what is what is like a valid thought or feeling for me to have and then what is something that I need to like let go of because I've built this up in my own mind. Yeah. So but I feel like very hopeful about your situation. Oh, I feel great about it. I feel like this is like a normal a normal thing that that couples come against. Yeah. And, and it's doable. He he seems like the type like he is very intentional with you. Like the fact that he's like voicing this. Yeah. Like I'm I'm being involved in your stuff because I want to spend time with you. And I get how that you're like, oh, that breaks my heart because that means he feels like I don't. But also like that's his choice like mm-hmm. that. He's showing you he wants to do that like that. That should be like a positive thing. Um, that you feel like loved within yeah. and not feel like guilty about like oh my god P- when anybody asks me like about my day or remember something that I said about like my work because I'm so passionate about my work I get like butterflies in my stomach so like you should feel like that's exciting that he wants to be like involved in your stuff. Yeah. And even if he's just doing it to spend time with you like that still should be something you look at as like that's so like that's so dope. Like it's he so loves cute. me, you know. Yeah. Like, and I don't think you need to see it as like, oh, it's this like way of like him showing that like I'm not enough, you know. I I could see how it would be easy to take his comment as like, oh, I'm messing up because he yeah. needs to do this to spend time with me. But I agree with Taryn. I think that's him saying, yo, I love you so much. I'm willing to sweep the floor yeah. of the freaking dance studio just so yeah. I could be near you. And I think that's a confirmation of his love. Um, yeah. I think the fact that he's bringing this to your attention in the first place goes to show how much he cares about your relationship. Because if he wasn't bringing it up and just resenting you, that would be like a yeah. completely different thing. Um, but he's bringing it up because he wants you to know because he wants you guys to be in a good place. And yeah. he's saying, hey, hi, like I need a little bit more. And him letting you know is is so healthy. Yeah. And I think he worded it in a very healthy way. Also, like, so his his like his top language is co- quality time. Right. Like 
quality time does not have to be long periods of time. No. And I think that, you know, you mentioned like you guys are going to be moving in together. So obviously like you'll have, you know, like coming home at nights, like dinner together, Dinners. like all these things. Yeah. But until then, like I would encourage you to get creative with how you spend time with him. I feel like I thrived at this. Like when I'm dating someone, I'm so creative with like, the type of stuff like I do like but there was even one time like I literally I was talking to this guy and he was like oh I have such a busy day like I wish I could see you and I was like okay like meet me in like I sent him an address meet me here five minutes so like he literally like we met in the parking lot I had my phone out when he got there and it was with, on my five minute timer. I pushed start. I put it there. Like we talked for a second. We like kissed for a minute and then the timer went off and I was that like, okay, so go. Cute. And I like pushed him yeah. and like he got in his car and we drove away just like cracking up because it was like the our five minute hang. Little, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like find those pockets of time. If, if he thrives off quality time, make it like, okay. I have like I have like a 20 minute lunch I could do like get creative and like make him feel just like loved in that second. Mm -hmm. And then like then it's going to like that stuff's going to last him the time where he's not with you. Yeah, I agree with Taryn. I think sh the intention behind everything that you do, little stuff like that, even if it's a five minute hang, r reminds him how much you love him. Yeah. And that's what he's looking for. Full. It's not a full a full day with no phones with just the two of you. It's yeah. like I just need to know that you you love me and want to be with me just as much as I love and want to be with you. Yeah. It's that reciprocation that he's looking for. And yeah, I agree with Taryn. Like, pop off on all the weird, fun, like, yeah. ideas. Like, hey, I have a quick lunch. Stop by really quick. Have food ready for him. You know, something like that. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be, like, this full gourmet meal. It could be Lunchables for all he cares. He yeah. just wants to be with you. Mm -hmm. So I think take what he said as a compliment and as a confirmation of how much he loves you. And just start having so much fun coming up with ideas with how you guys can hang out together, even if it's like Taryn said for a quick five minutes. Yeah. And I think like, I mean, that's what life is. Right? Like if you guys end up, you know, staying together, getting married, having kids, all this stuff, like, I mean, you're always going to have jobs or kids mm -hmm. or things that are going to draw your attention away from each other. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like the healthy part of finding that balance. And, you know, you're 24, so you're you're coming into, like, around 23, 24, 25, that's when I was like, oh, crap, like, I'm an adult. Like, I got to, like, right. yeah. I have to start prioritizing. I have to start, like, being organized and, like, my job and, like, oh, my gosh, now I'm on my own insurance. Like, everything started, like, becoming more real, mm -hmm. which, like, when you're dating younger than that, everything's just fun. Nothing serious. So you guys have what been dating marriage? for six years. So you went from like, we're just kids and we're just trying to have enough money to like buy ourselves like off. food yeah. to now you're like becoming adults. So like, don't, don't feel this shift in like change and priorities as something negative in reflection to your relationship. Like this is something that is just life and you guys are going to have to be flexible and like molds with each other like while you're going through this so absolutely it's not scary it's like it's just this season of life you're in i was wow what? that's ver verbatim what i was about to say oh. i think life changes i think there's seasons for everything right now you're in a busy season mm -hmm. but i think the way you handle this busy season as a part as like a couple um will like lay a foundation for busy seasons in the future. Mm -hmm. And when you come across a season where you, it is more relaxing, you do get to be together. Like how beautiful is that going to be? Yeah. You know, but like it, maybe one day he gets a, a, a busier schedule and you have a busier schedule in like five years. Yeah. Um, and you guys are both looking at this going, dang, like when are we going to spend time together? Yeah. You can no, be like, so Hey, true. we've done it before. We can do it again. We're going to implement the same rules. Like, we'll do the fun like meetups we'll do dinner always like you know some something where it's like understood that hey we've been here before we've practiced this before we can get through it because we did it we've done it and this is where you yeah. get to lay that foundation of I prioritize you you prioritize me we still get our shit done yeah. but like we love each other and we're always coming back to each other and like his his love languages are very easy to like quality time and acts of service like that's such He's just, he needs those little reminders that, like, you love him. Mm -hmm. So, like, 
get a Polaroid camera and like take a cute photo like of yourself and like hide it in his wallet and just like write on it like I miss you I hope you're having a good day like do you, like random little things like that speak so much and I think especially in a world today where like it's rare that people even text you like hey how are you or like how's mm-hmm. your day going like something even elevated to like just this this thing that you do for him even if it's like a post it on his car wheel whatever like you're so just little good things with stuff like I know, that. dude I don't worst. know why I'm single I literally win at being a girlfriend mm-hmm. win anyways I don't so, even think about that stuff oh well I got you anytime thank you my ideas, thank you I got you thank you but yeah there's like there's just like fun like little things you can do that mm-hmm. don't require like breaking the bank or anything like that but I think he just maybe just start to like really be intentional about giving him those moments that remind him how important he is yeah you know I love that uh, uh, this is great I love love this is great invite us to your wedding please We'd love to speak. We, I and will by have, we, Taryn would love to speak. I will, speak. I will sit in the corner and support her. I will her. make the audience cry, laugh, everything. All the feelings. Feel everything. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This was a great episode. <coughs> Sorry, my tickle. <laughs> If you guys haven't already, be sure to follow us on our socials. We have been so active on there, even taking like some of the stories that you guys send in on this podcast and bringing that conversation to our social media, mainly Instagram. Um, So if you want to talk about moving across the world for university or getting through a busy season with your partner, like hop on our socials um, because that's where we've been talking about it and continuing that conversation there. And you guys have been bringing a lot of advice yourselves, which is so fun to see. Oh my God, I love this. And it's also really cool to see like our little UA community like come together um, in that way, not just on the podcast. Um, So we've really been enjoying it. And I highly recommend you hop on there, too. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Shall we end with a dad joke? Absolutely. Don't we always? That was a rhetorical. (laughs) She's like, you have no choice. (laughs) What kind of music do balloons hate? Uh... I feel like you can guess this one. I can? Yeah. Balloons. Mark, can you guess? Do you know it? Does Lexi know? Lexi knows it? Come on, guys. Come on. Pop! Oh! Oh (laughs) Dang it! That is so so good! good. That is so good. Oh, my God. So good. That was a good... I'm actually really upset at myself for not knowing that one. I thought you would get it. I thought you would get it. That's really clever. so good. (sighs) Guys, if you made it to the dad joke, you already know we love you the most. (laughs) (laughs) Ashley, you say the same sentence every episode. How could you mess it up? I don't know. It's part of my thing. No, but how could you mess it up? I got too excited. I was upset about the (laughs) pop situation. Um, Be sure to like, rate, review, share, subscribe. I'm on a I'm a mess today. You guys already know i don't have to say it it's fine Uh, we love you all (laughs) we love you and we will talk to you guys soon okay bye. bye today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp has licensed professional counselors who are specialized in things like depression, anger, stress, family conflicts, anxiety, LGBT matters, relationships, grief, sleeping, trauma, self-esteem, and so much more. It's convenient, professional, and affordable. And I love BetterHelp because you can talk to them pretty much anywhere, whether you're texting, you want to FaceTime, you want to call them. It doesn't matter where you're at. They will meet you there. Taryn and I both want you to start living a happier life today as our listeners will give you guys 10% off your first month by visiting BetterHelp.com unsolicited. That's BetterHelp, betterhel dot com slash unsolicited unsolicited u-n-s-o-l-i-c-i-t-e-d join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health that's better help b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash unsolicited u-n-s-o-l-i-c-i-t-e-d